I run the Bridger range today on the apron at Bridger Bowl, which is currently still closed and has backcountry avalanche conditions. We're just downhill from an avalanche that was triggered by a skier two nights ago while they were boot packing up this slope during heavy snowfall. It's continued to snow the last two days and we've had about a foot and a half of snow equal to almost two inches of water. And that's what's sitting on some weak sugary facets down near the ground, which caused the avalanche that happened a couple nights ago. Right now, all this snowfall alone is enough for us to stay off of slopes steeper than 30 degrees and we're being really cautious walking underneath steep slopes. This snow will probably gain strength pretty quickly once this storm stops and our main concern will be this sugary layer of wheat snow down on the ground that avalanches can break on. The good news is that's not on all slopes in the Bridger Range and if you stay out, if you look for slopes that didn't have snow on the ground prior to prior to when snow started falling on Thanksgiving, like south southerly facing slopes generally, you'll probably find a pretty stable snowpack after this storm. Um, so if you're looking to get into steeper slopes after this storm, look for those slopes and then make sure, dig down to make sure you're not finding this old sugary snow before committing to steep terrain.